Hey everybody, this is Sally, the social media coordinator for LBM Journal, and we are here at IBS in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to show you the best of IBS, most innovative building products. Seven finalists, we're going to go in depth with all of them, so let's go. I'm Rick Schumacher with LBM Journal. I'm one of the judges for the International Builder Show Most Innovative Product Award. And we're here with um, one of the finalists. Uh, we're at the Camo booth with Greg Gruenhout. That's right. And Greg is going to talk about the wedge clip, right? All right. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate that. Yeah, our product is called the wedge clip. It's just a, the latest addition to our Camo lineup. It's a really cool little guy that is, uh, we've just added to the versatility of fasting ability of our clip system. It simply goes into the groove of the board and the action there is basically the name of the clip. It's wedge, and so it wedges into the groove. So any of the major manufacturer boards, it's a product that will just sit in the groove. So the idea is it sits in place. You can line up rows of boards on your deck um, before you have to fasten anything down. So you set your clips at every joist and the board, slide your next board up, do another row of clips, and continue on. Once you're ready to fasten, you can just pin your boards up nice and snug, go back and fasten the whole deck top at one time. So literally saves builders hours of time on a deck job site, uh, fastening the decking down. So it's very cool, very cool little clip. It's also got some really important components to it. So not only the plastic part that holds it into the groove, but it's got a 316 screw and a 316 metal gusset, which is where the strength of the clip really comes from. There's no strength in holding power from the plastic portions of this. It's all the stainless steel metal, and that's a marine grade, can be used in saltwater environments, all the way inland, and on any deck design, any type of deck top, any type of manufactured decking. I think that's all we need, so thank you. All right, you. thanks for And we're here with, uh, with Jason Duvall from TimberTech, one of the finalists for, the, for this category. Jason's gonna tell us more about it. Jason? Absolutely. I'm really excited for the Vintage uh, Collection to be nominated as a finalist uh, here at the International Builder Show. The Vintage product line is one of our premium decking products here at TimberTech. Uh, that is one of the most beautiful products uh, that you can find on the market. Uh, Vintage is, is our PVC-based product, so you'll see a lot of composites uh, on the show floor here today. Um, we're really the leader in the PVC-based decking, which there's no wood in the core. It's a little lightweight material. It stays cooler to the touch, about 30 degrees cooler uh, than, than many of the, the competitive products out here. And one of the other cool things is it's 60% recycled material. So uh, PVC is a product that often would be destined to the landfill at its end of life. We're able to use, uh, all, be, actually we're one of the largest uh, integrated recyclers of PVC in North America, okay. and we use 60% uh, of the core of our boards is made of recycled material, making this a really sustainable board. Um, not only that, it's going to last a long time. We have a structural lifetime warranty, a 50-year fade and stain warranty. So you see these colors, some of the colors we offer in the vintage collections are just beautiful colors. This is our, our coastline color, one of our, uh, our most popular colors. But the, the performance of the top surface of this deck board is unmatched in the category. A 50-year fade and stain, so it'll maintain this color for many years to come. Um, and in, in addition to that, one of the things that we're hearing more and more about is fire codes, uh, especially in, in parts of the market like California and even in Colorado, um, that fire codes are becoming more and more important. This has a Class A flame spread uh, performance. Um, which, besides the non-combustible material, is the best possible rating uh, that you can get. All right, thank you. I'm here with one of the finalists, Tom Zimmerman, Silver Mine Stone, and Tom's going to talk about the product and why, what makes it so innovative. So, Tom, great, thanks, Rick. Great to see you. Uh, Silver Mine Stone is the first brand of mortarless stone veneer. Mortalist stone veneer is a stone veneer that's applied with a screw or a nail to the wall. What we do is we remove the mortar from the application, so it makes it very easy to go on the wall. It installs much like a siding. However, mortar serves an important purpose when you're putting stone on a wall, really two purposes. One, it's the glue that holds the stone to the wall. We take that glue away, we replace it with a screw, so it screws to the wall. But two, that mortar fills in the space between the stones, keeping water out. When you remove that water, or that mortar, water is free to get through the stones and back to your substrate. We know that getting water behind your siding, behind your stones, is a bad, bad deal. So with Silvermine, we actually have a patented integrated flashing system 
that is embedded into the side of the stone. So this flashing system serves two purposes. Number one, it's what the screw goes into to actually hold the stone to the wall. But two, it goes on the wall in a shingling manner. So when water gets behind the joints, it hits this flashing and keeps it off the wall. Let's walk over here to the demo wall. I'll show you what I mean. So here we can see we have our stone screwed to the wall. We put one screw into a stud and two into the sheathing for a one square foot panel. This is a 24 inch long by six inch tall concrete panel with eight piece of eight inch piece of coated aluminum flashing. Everywhere there's a joint, you have the flashing from the course below it, protecting the wall, protecting the substrate. So the water goes through the stone, hits the flashing, and cascades down like a step flashing. On top of that, now these are actually two different colors of stone. So this is our Dover Cliff, this is our new Aspen Peak. They look similar, but for demo purposes, when we put these stones together, you have your joint there and you have the aluminum behind it. But if you notice these two pieces of aluminum don't fully touch, that's a breathe hole. What happens is as you get vapor behind the house, behind the wall, it's free to let the air out. But when you put your next stone over the top, it keeps the water out. So the vapor can escape, but the water stays out away from the wall. We install over a single layer of WRB, over one layer of house wrap. So we have two-step distribution available for the LBM dealer, really in the northern two-thirds of the country. So really, the Dakotas over to New England, Carolinas up to the Canadian border. Okay. Other markets, we do service through our dealers and we're adding more distribution as we speak. Okay. We have two different selections. This is our what we call our Belterra collection, which is a ledge stone style look. Yep. Each panel is one square feet, one square foot, and this comes in six colors. Our other look is our new collection called the Modern Collection, which will come in three colors. Okay. Same story, same installation story, just a more modern profile. Okay, and these are available now? These will be available in the second quarter. All right, well, good luck. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm talking with Gene Beachy, sales manager for Etchwood. Etchwood is one of the seven finalists for this year's most innovative building product. And Gene, tell us about Etchwood. Etchwood is a very unique product from the standpoint that we take new wood and we actually distress it and make it look like old barn wood. Like we do things like circle sawn, we do hand hewn looks, we do band saw, and we make beams like this here type of thing where we actually do a beam. Uh, with the beams we actually do a miter lot corners. And this here again shows the circle sawn look. And so we do beams that would be as big as you're wanting. I mean, from the standpoint, if we can make them 30 feet long, 40 nice. feet long. Great. But we also do miter locks from the standpoint of keeping it so it's nice and straight and square for the installer. Also, some of the other things we do is just unique things like beam covers where we actually, this is actually a, a corbel that goes onto a mantle and shows at the bottom of the mantle. And again, it has the hand hewn, and this is showing it in red oak. But the, the product is so unique because of the fact that right now everybody is looking for the reclaimed type of product. Right. And from that reclaimed type of product, this here is giving you that option, but it has a great finish. It has like your, we actually do a furniture grade finish where it's, a, it's like a sealer, top coat, all that type of thing. It's something that lasts for years. And you can do it on the interior, and we're also now doing exterior products. Oh, nice! Uh, with a uh, an acre product, which is uh, a lifetime warranty. Very it's familiar a, with acres. Oh, you it's are. It's a great okay. product. Upcy it is. Upcycled rice hulls. Yes, that's yeah. correct. That yeah. is correct. Yes, and uh, we're we've done a number of large jobs with it, and we're very happy with the way it's turned out and the way it's holding up. Okay. So, LBM Journal's readers are, are lumberyards and building material dealers across the country. Mm -hmm. Is this something that's available to them to sell? It is, and we do it in shiplap, we do it in plywood, okay. we do it in trim, like you're trimming out a house, we do anything like for like window kits, mm -hmm. we do doors, we do interior doors, uh, we do barn doors, but again we do it in different textures and different colors. So okay. That's the nice options that you have. Distribution wise, is this available, is this currently available to dealers across the country or is it 
Are you launching right here? We are really it? launching. I mean, okay. we started, of course, in northern Indiana. Okay. And uh, when I first started three years ago, we went into Ohio and Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has exploded for us. All right, Gene, thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. And we're here with one of the finalists on Everlast Siding, which is a new category. Absolutely, a new category within the siding. Within the siding category. So, so we're here with Gary Hartman, who's VP of Sales, and he's going to talk to us about what makes it unique. Yes, we appreciate the opportunity to be able to be named as a finalist for the most innovative building material here at the IBS show. People ask me all the time what makes Everlast unique, and you can't really compare Everlast to any other siding product in the marketplace. It's different than the traditional siding products of steel, aluminum, vinyl, wood, and even cement siding. So what Chelsea Building Products has been able to do is create a brand new category in taking material science production technology in being able to produce a product unlike any other siding product in the marketplace. What's been exciting to be able to launch this and introduce it to LBM, to dealers and to contractors, it gives them a new, unique product in which it's easy to install, it's got great features, and oh, by the way, they can make some money with it too because there's nothing to compare. It's not a commodity. That's it's first in class, it's best in class, and that's what we call it. If you happen to look over here, what we're doing is we're showing you basically the material science, all the different components that go into the product itself. Would you be familiar if I used the term chassis? Okay. So it's basically the base of the product. So that's what all of this material here is, the chassis. Okay. And then one of the things that makes Everlast unique is the additives that we put into the chassis, because it's PVC based, to be able to slow down the expansion and contraction. So what we're doing is we're compensating through material science. And what we're doing is we're fighting physics. We're not fighting it, actually we're asking it to cooperate with us. So we're putting different elements in there to be able to slow that down. And then also what we're doing is this isn't a painted product, it's actually a cap stock product. So what we're doing is in the extrusion process, putting a layer of acrylic cap over it. That gives us our color, that gives us our weatherability, and that gives us a best-in-class warranty. So then all of this then creates what we have here, which we're showing you accessories, which these are in development now. They're going to be introduced into the marketplace later today. These products here, which are currently in the market, so here's the chassis that we were talking about, the acrylic cap that we have over top of it. And then we have the product itself over here. Mm -hmm. Everlast panel, the two and a half, four and a half lap, seven lap. And this thing here, which was basically lightning in a bottle, right. which is the seven and two working back. Okay, so a couple questions for you. So distribution, this is a new product, so is it available to dealers across the country yet? Across the United States. Across the US, okay. Through wholesale distribution or wholesale distribution okay. wholesale distribution and also one set we'd like to think that we've got a pretty good product all right thank, thank you Gary and I'm here with Jack Hopkins yes. with Protecto Wrap Company yes and we're gonna he's one of the finalists we're gonna learn about Protecto Wall so thank you. tell us about Protecto Wall first off Protecto Wrap Company is a 72 year old Denver based waterproofing roofing and flashing material manufacturing company one of the newest products that, that we have now is, is called our Protecto Wall VP for vapor permeable. Okay. And what we have done is uh, we have a technology called Super Stick that's a very aggressive um, adhesive that sticks down to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So it, it works in all climates. And what we uh, have developed is, is a very high end commercial grade house wrap product. And by putting a, um, our, our aggressive super stick adhesive on the back, we are able to design a product that has strips of the adhesive on it that has open air space in between, yep. and it allows the product to breathe and also will keep out windblown rain and snow. Okay. And it is a self-adhesive product, as you can see. Um, <coughs> it it um, has great yes. at, attributes for... Um, the house wrap industry that you don't have to use staples. We have a split release on the back that you, you can peel off and the split release allows the, the applicators to actually put it down in sections so that it's, it's very easy to put down and, and very straight right. on there. 
Um, the channels that, that we have on the back, as I said, allow the, the product to breathe, but, but um, it, it also has self-sealing qualities to it that you can put a nail or fasten it through it and it will self-seal around it wh whether you hit the, the glue line or not. Now the, there's, there's thousands of products here and, there's, and house wrap is a very competitive category. Yes, sir. So yours is as one of the top seven finalists for most innovative, that's, that says something. Thank you. So the, um, the, the adhesive, is that the, the most, is that the thing that makes, really sets it apart? It, it is. It, it, you have a guaranteed open air space to it, so it has a perm rating of 43 okay. perms, so it, it's very breathable. <clears throat> okay. And um, the the glue lines on, on the back are definitely um, superior to anything that's that's on the market. There are other products that have full coating on there with little voids in them. The feedback that we have done through test markets and dealing with, with applicators are that it's the most user-friendly product out there that they've seen. They don't have any problems with high winds. Um, a lot of the other pro products cannot be applied down below 45 degrees without a primer. Our, our product is totally peel and stick and, and does stick by itself down to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And we've been tested in um, areas at 10,000 feet in Colorado with 100 mile an hour winds and okay. the, the product has performed excellently and had no peel backs to it. So it's, great. it's the response has been nothing short than phenomenal. Well, it sounds great. It sounds like it's a great product and Thank I wish you, you the best. Good Thank luck. you so much. Thank you, Jack. Thank you.